I'm here with Bob Higby from Clinton, who's going to be talking about uh, Chef Gordon Stewart and the Blueberry Hill, Gordon's Blueberry Hill in Freeland. Got a lot of good friends over in Freeland. And Bob, you uh, you had this dish at uh, at this restaurant, right? Oh yes, yeah, several times. And right. wh what was it you really liked about it? Oh, it, the flavors, uh, his, the combination of flavors that he uses are just incredible. And also the presentation, you can't believe the presentation. Everything comes with edible flowers as a kind of a oh, nice. tops it off with that. What a great it's, idea. It's, it's just, uh, after the first time we went, my fiance said, take your camera. We've got to get pictures of it. <laughs> well, Bob, I'm going to ask you to step out. We're going to ask Gordon to make that dish for you, and you come back in and okay. taste it, okay? Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Gordon, that was quite a recommendation. Well, you know, try to keep things pretty you're and tasty. Doing good. You want me to take that off? Sure. All right. Gordon, you're already hard at work chopping uh, that ginger. we got to get started here, don't we? Yes, oh, indeed. Was, All right. That was pickled ginger. A uh, little bit of pickled ginger. Can We're I starting the dressing. Can I take a little taste of that? Go for it. You've never had it before. You've got to give it a no. try. That's All what right. you garnish oh, sushi my. dishes with a lot of times. Oh, yes. Or sashimi. And we got a little soy in there. Mm-hmm. A little chili sauce. Nice. Get okay. rid of these for you. So we've got our salty and our Good. sour and our hot. Yeah, it's just kind of a nice, easy, simple dressing. Got some hot oil over here for you whenever you're ready Thank for that. Thank goodness. Part. Well, don't let it burn. <laughs> it will catch on fire. It might not be very. <laughs> I think that may have happened. Friendly before. in Seattle. It here. happened once before, yeah. I like the firefighter, but I don't want to get to know him that well. <laughs> All right, there's her rice wine vinegar in there. It's a good start. And then we're just going to tie that together with a little sesame oil. Okay. Sesame oil really does bring everything together with that nice Oh, yeah, it's got a nice. Nuttiness. And it's to toasted, so. Dark. And you put a generous splash in there. Oh, you know, I'm a generous guy. <laughs> okay, All so right. we're going to start by uh, chopping some of our vegetables here for the salad. Let's cut the ends off here. Looks like a huge radish. This is a daikon radish. Now, I'm just going to peel it like this because I didn't bring my peeler with me, but at home you can peel it so you don't waste all that. And Gordon, you guys have some amazing farmers over there on Whidbey Island these days. We do. We love Indeed. to use local products. We have, uh, we have Forget Me Not Farms food. that we use on a regular basis. And they, they grow all in herbs and vegetables that we use. And we use, he mentioned that we use uh, edible flowers and things like that. So um, I'm sure your plates are just beautiful. Well, you try, you know. Got to be as pretty as the chef, right? <laughs> So we just dice that up, a uh, little julienne cut mm -hmm. with that. Nice. You're done with those? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to grab an onion. We're just going to add the onion to that. We're just going to throw this right into our dressing here. You can get rid of oh, that. Oh, sure. Great. So daikon is much milder than a breakfast radish. Yeah, it's a little milder. It's still, it still packs that punch, and, and it's got a nice, really nice texture for a salad. Nice We're and just crunchy. Cut the ends off that. And peel. I'm keeping you busy over you there. Are, right? I tell you. <laughs> You're turning this food out. You, really can come you can come over and work with me if you want. All right. That's Gordon, did you choose over. red onion just for the color, or is there a flavor difference there too? Uh, it's a little bit milder in flavor, um, and I like the color. So on both ends, we chose that. So. And that color is probably going to become even more vibrant in that in that dressing. The, bath. Yeah, you put that in that vinegar, it's going to pop out at you, and it'll have a really nice flavor. So a little bit of green onion, just the ends. Okay. We got some really nice nap cabbage. So this is a, a beautiful salad here. It's got yeah, all it's those really videos. fresh and, and Asian refreshing. Ingredients. Nice summer salad, spring salad, winter, whenever. Any you know, time of makes year you with think these of, ingredients. Uh, the summer if you have it in winter. So. Bean sprouts. And the, yeah, nice bean sprouts. Oh. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. You know, when I was first exposed to, so good. to bean sprouts back when the earth was just cooling, <laughs> I don't think we had them with the right ingredients. They seemed too starchy to me then. But now with a related. vibrant dressing like this one, I find I really love green, bean sprouts. Oh yeah, they're, they're really crispy and, and they pop in this salad. And I think all those bright, that's the texture really. Acidic ingredients, in yeah, exactly. They make the bean sprouts come to life, flavor-wise. Peppers in here, nice color. Yeah, nice really. Color. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, 
I'll put a little bit of orange pepper in here too. And just clean that out. And you want to take out the white pith always when you're working with. I think we're fortunate to have access to all these hot house grown peppers. Oh yeah. And you know they don't need any pesticides when they're grown in there and the folks in BC produce so many yeah, nice, beautiful peppers. Our nice neighbors up there give us some great hot house products. And of course in the summer you can get them from local farmers. Sure. Yep. Yeah. And you know that's what we try to do, you know. Our uh, my produce guy suffers greatly in the summer. <laughs> so we're going to get started with the uh, fryer basket there. You call it a fire basket? Yeah. A fryer. Oh, the fryer basket. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> I thought maybe that was some catchy name. It's a new for name, this... like you... Angry Chicken. <laughs> there you go. I, I forgot a little wasabi. We're just gonna oh, put a little okay. wasabi in there. However hot you like it, you know. This that... is uh, this is not the real. Uh... This is the same outside that they use in spring rolls. Isn't it? Yes, yes, they use this for Vietnamese rolls. Vietnamese spring rolls. Uh -huh. You can find them. Most of your markets will carry these, but they're really nice to fry up for a nice little bowl. Nice. I usually soak them in water to roll around Let's the crispy the vegetables. In. Yeah, that's really nice. Just soak in mm -hmm. hot water. But I'm sure they crispen up beautifully too. Oh wow! Really, really quick. quick. Yeah. Really quick. See? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Wouldn't you love to do that at home? Isn't that oh, great. Come on. And just that quick and that simple. It's kind of like those uh, put it right tortilla baskets, but yeah, <laughs> with a different product. There rice, you go. a rice tortilla basket. And if it if it tears or rips on you, don't worry, it's all going to be covered up in presentation. It mm -hmm. shouldn't matter too it much. Sh it shouldn't matter too much at all. It's so like a chihuly glass thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, breaks a piece, he moves on. Big deal, huh? Well, so what else can you do? We have <laughs> not much. <laughs> So we got our black and white sesame seeds here. We're gonna add some uh, Chinese five spice, ah. which is like uh, anise, cinnamon, ginger, things like that. Oh. Right. A little fennel, salt and pepper. Aromatics galore. Oh yeah, gotta have that stuff, right? And now you're probably ready to get this pan hot. I am, hot. let's get that hot. And you want it, you want your pan hot enough to sear it. You don't wanna burn, you don't wanna burn the fish but you certainly don't want to have it too cool a heat so it cooks it too much in the center. Gordon, I'm dying to get my hands on your salad over there so I can start tossing that wasabi in. You want to toss in. that in? Yeah. This is just such a beautiful... I've never had anybody say that they were dying to get their <laughs> hands on my salad before. <laughs> well, you know, we're up close and personal here. Yeah. It's so colorful, I feel like I'm, I'm looking at a kaleidoscope. You know, after you get all that on there, it'd be, uh, I guess you'd still say it was ahi tuna, but you'd have to look a little bit, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a colorful ahi it is, tuna. It's flavorful. Beautiful. And it I looks think good. That, it does look good, and I think that pan is getting hotter. Okay. Is that an okay spot? I think it is too. Oh, wrong one. Which one? This one? Yeah. There you go. Okay, a little bit of olive oil there. Great. And we're probably going to need these tongs. So we're going to gonna sear. We're just going to sear this really quick on both sides. A crispy coat of seeds. That's should be hot. Well, the, the great thing about this dish is it's it's a rare raw tuna anyway. So, right. you know, it's nice to get a nice crisp crust on the outside. Don't and worry, we will. I, I'm beginning to hear a sizzle. I, yeah, I hear it. Too. I was going to say, worst things come to worst, we'll have raw tuna, which we want. <laughs> And the last thing you want to do is overcook it. Right, exactly. Or it ends up tasting like canned tuna. So we're going to start plating here really quick. Got just a little bit of hoisin sauce, which is almost like an Asian plum sauce or now, Chinese that barbecue hoisin sauce. sauce right out of the bottle? You didn't add anything? Didn't or? add a thing to it. Okay. Now, what was the name again? Hoisin. 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 It comes off your tongue, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, yeah, Hoisin. really. Gesundheit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. And then good. we've got a little bit of the Wasabi. It's nice to have the squeeze bottle because then you can just kind of dollop it on. Yeah, and beautiful. It goes nice and quick. Great presentation. And then we have a little bit of that cilantro that we had earlier. So I'm just slowly turning this piece of ahi over here to try to sear all right, the sides. Right, ex exactly. Just want to keep an eye on it. If you run and do your laundry, you're in trouble. 
Crusty on the outside, rare, rare, rare on the inside. Exactly. Yeah, we need a spoon for that. Great. Good one. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. So we can make, you can make a quick uh, ginger rose here. With the pickled ginger. Pickled ginger, I got white. Oh, that's lovely. And I got some yes. red here we can just kind of go on the outside with. What a beautiful plate. Okay, how are we doing there? Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the cutting board here for you. Sweet. So you can plate her up. All right, let's have that basket over here. Oh, the basket. Oh, the basket. The Chihuly basket. Yes, yeah. the breaking, breaking basket. <laughs> We we'll just lay it down. No big deal. We'll place that salad right in the middle. Who knew you could get that beautiful sculptural form? Yeah, just by I know. Isn't a it? Rice paper yeah, isn't that nice. Oil. You know, you don't know unless somebody tells you. That's why I'm here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like a thing of nature. <laughs> it is. It, it, it is. It's it like, like a like a, a coral sea reef. Yeah. yeah, like that. All right, we're just gonna slice it. If they ask you how here. you made that basket thing, just tell them it, t it took hours. It took absolute hours. <laughs> and who says food is not art? It there is art. Go. Oh, it is. Indeed it is. All right, then we're going to back that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to ask Bob Higby to step back in here. Looking pretty good, Bob. Looking great there. There is a And fork now we'll friend. find out if it's as good as it looks. Now, was that tobacco at the end? Yes, a little bit of orange tobacco Flying at the fish end. Rope. Yes, yes. I don't know where to begin. Holy moly, right there. Right there. <laughs> Better than I even remember. The first place the to begin. Here, right? <laughs> I want some of the salad. Okay, George, you taste the salad. I'll taste the tuna. Okay. And we'll see mm. who's happy first. The salad is mm. fantastic. That's a, that's a really good it, salad. It pops a wallop, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it really Absolutely does. delicious. This is Chef Gordon Stewart from this. Gordon's on Blueberry Hill in Freeland. You can get it every time you go in there. Sesame encrusted ahi tuna. Bob Higby, thank you very much for thank coming you, over. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gordon. And hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Gordon, wonderful. All right. Well, that's good. good. That is really good. 1-800-443-1999. <laughs> you can taste it, too. Fix it at home. <laughs>